In uh, one of my previous videos I uh, show how to make such a birch bark container from a DIY set. Well, I also said that it's very difficult to find good birch bark here in Denmark. So I thought why not try to make one out of leather. So this video is about making such a container uh, not from birch bark, from leather. Hope you enjoy. And first I have to make a template and I'm using uh, uh, approximately the same size as the uh, birch bark container. Um, I have to measure it out so it's going to be uh, exactly the same and uh, I actually made a template that you can see uh, in the end of this video where I have all the measurements and um, yeah I also have it on my website uh, kimberbushcraft.com But uh, here you can see I made the uh, markings for the, where the holes are going to be and um, there's three in the one end and four in the other end. And uh, I'll show it later uh, why it's made like this. And in the end uh, where the four holes are, I'm going to cut them. Uh, so I'll make these markings where I'm going to cut them. see here four and three holes and I use such one to make the holes they are approximately uh, 16 millimeters in diameter and uh, see here I hammer it down so that the holes are made of course on both ends You can cut this out with a, a sharp knife if you don't have such a hole puncher. And then I cut the like this in the end where I'm going to uh, put it into the other sides. You see that in the moment, and uh, it should look like this. So the three flaps can be. Uh, set into the holes on the other side, like this. Yeah, and you can see it fits nicely. So uh, then I'd pull it apart again, because I have to transfer it uh, to the piece of, uh, of leather. And the leather I'm using is approximately two millimeters thick and uh, yeah, I use my tools for uh, leather working, a sharp knife and a, a ruler out of metal. Yeah, and then I have to punch the holes. And after that you can see how it should look now. Yeah. Then again, I cut the the holes here in the middle with a sharp knife and then I uh, I'm finished with the with the container and I have to try to see if it fits Always checking if your measurements are correct. That's very important. You can see I bent the leather here. It's much easier than with the birch bark. The leather won't uh, be ripped apart and you can mold it in. So yeah, it looks great, I think. So then again, I pull it apart and um, then I use some sandpaper.
and sand it down. Uh, I use a machine for this, but uh, you can use the hands if you want to. Sand it in uh, both ends, so it's going to be thinner there, so that the uh, transition between the leather is more smooth. Thin in the ends and around the holes. You can see here. And then I try to assemble it again. And it's very smooth now. Then I'm going to uh, make the rims. And I measure it here. And again, uh, I have a template where you can see the measurements. And then I cut it out from the piece of leather. And uh, again, check before you cut so that it will fit nicely. See here? And you can see the difference in the color of the leather. And it's because I like to uh, sand my leather on the surface, so it's not glossy but matte. I like that finish. And then again, I use sandpaper, sand it down, especially in the ends. And then they are, again, a little bit smaller in the ends. Yeah. And then I I'm going to make the bottom. I measure it here and uh, make a template again in the correct size. Does it fit? Yeah. Cut it out with a scissor. Again, checking. Does it look all right? Yeah, I think so. Then I just have to make a piece of wood that is in that size. And you can see here, it fits nicely. Then I'm going to make the markings on the rims, so where I'm going to make the holes for the stitching or the weaving. And uh, it's uh, five millimeters down and 10 millimeters apart. And then I have the markings there. And that's where I'm going to make the holes with this a little bit later. First I have to uh, put it on, see if it's okay, yeah. And then I apply some glue and uh, this is what we call contact glue in Denmark. You have to glue uh, each side. And then let it dry for a couple of minutes. And then you can put it on like this. Uh, and then on the other end too. And now I'm beginning to uh, make the holes after the markings I made on the leather. Uh, using such a plier is the most easy way to do it, but uh, you could probably use other tools. Yeah. Then I'm making these uh, strips, leather strips, or straps. Uh, and they're going to be uh, 80 centimeters long, approximately. And then I'm starting to weave it in or sew it.
and you have to be um, it has to be uh, tight there so pull it tight all the way around on uh, both ends and uh, here you can see how it should look uh, at this uh, stage then I uh, apply some leather color, leather dye and use something that's called tan, the color is tan. It's a light brown color that I uh, like and use for many uh, of my projects. And again you have to uh, be sure that the, the color is all over the leather, both outside and inside. And after it's dry, it looks like this. And uh, yeah, I'm going to set in the bottom. And uh, I apply a little bit of glue on the inside. Remember, this is going to be the bottom, the downside. And uh, applying glue on both of the items. And then turn it around and it's easier to uh, put the bottom in from the top and then you just have a stick and you can punch it down so it has the right uh, distance to the to the rim yeah you can see here small adjustments and uh, now it's finished in this end then I'm going to make the top or the lid. I use the same templates, uh, but making it a little bit bigger at the top. It's going to be conical, so it will be uh, pressed down and it will hold itself in place. Like this. To um, put some leather on the top, the lid, so uh, just have to glue that on. First glue on the wood. You can use the wood as it is. It's beautiful too, but uh, I like the look of the leather. So after it's uh, dried, you can put it together and uh, put something heavy on it so it'll stay there. And uh, when it's dry, I just cut it out with a sharp knife. Like this and then I want to make something special for the top and I have a piece of antler that I'm going to work on and after that it looked like this you see here a little hole in the bottom where I put this one in of course I'm going to glue it and a little hole there so yeah but uh, before I glue it together I will add some color uh, for the lid too yeah and now we are almost finished you can see here I think it looks cool a nice little container uh, easy to make if you are having trouble with the birch bark uh, leather is much more easy to work with and uh, I think it looks nice and I can store things in here that I bring with me on my Viking hikes so hope you like this little container and perhaps you will be inspired to make something uh, like that or similar and uh, here's the templates and uh, again I put the template on my website, kimberbushcraft.com. Yeah, and then I hope to see you again on the next one. Bye bye, take care.